How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy, a Category Manager here at Tech Rentals. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the Omicron CMC356. Uh, we supply it with uh, a full complement of cables and a laptop with the software preloaded. Um, okay, to operate, set this thing up, just plug the Ethernet cable into one of these cables at the back, we apply power. Other end of the Ethernet, of course, we plug into the laptop. I'll switch this instrument on and power up the laptop. Now we log into the laptop. There's no sign in, space bar. Now we're in. Okay, okay first thing we've got to do is, uh, having booted it up, is uh, associate the device. So once we open this up, you'll find it says here, if it, if it says here, that is, if it says not associated with this computer, what we've got to do is click on that and associate device. Now what we now do is push the button on the back. And now we're associated. So it, it, this software will now know that the uh, PC is available. So now we just run test universe. Okay, uh, we've, we've now tested to the, uh, um, we've now run up test universe. Now, you will most likely have um, a set of test plans that you're going to run. Now, I'll just go through one of them, just show you one of the menus and, um, but for example here, we've got a harmonics menu we can run up and um, you can do a direct control of this thing. Now, one of the first thing you've got to do when you bring these things up, you've got to make sure you've got the hardware configured. Now, in our case, we've uh, wired it up a certain way. I've got, I'm gonna click on here. Uh, I've wired it like that there and that there. So I go, okay. Now, if it hap doesn't happen to have the number of the device here, that indicates that that software isn't loaded. So um, just be aware of that because it won't do anything. So now if I go apply on here and I go okay. Okay, just to show this thing um, functioning, what I've done is the fact that I've just wired up a power analyzer, um, the three voltage inputs and neutral input to the, these voltage outputs. I've wired up the, the current outputs now, the, I've run these wires through the current clamp and I've twisted them five times around. So, um, so they'll, be, they'll give a reading five times higher than the settings we put over here. So I've got three current clamps and the three voltage measurements set up here. Okay, so um, I've opened up uh, harmonics, for example, here. And what I might do is change this over and just put 100 volts in here. And I'll put a 100, oops. 100 volts in here, uh, yep, 100, and uh, we'll leave the phase angles as they are with those. Now the current I'm going to put, uh, say for example, 5 amps, which means the fact that we'll, it'll display about 25, 25 amps on the outputs. And um, this is, this. there we go, 5, oops. 5 amps here and 5 amps there. So we've got a, we've got a, um, what we're going to be doing is simulating a fairly balanced system here. Um, and uh, now what I can also add is the fact that there's some harmonic distortion. So on the third harmonic, I'm going to put some, um, I'll put in, I won't put it on voltage, I'll put it on the current. So we're going to have 6% at, um, five degrees six percent and I'll make this one seven percent and make this one eight percent and then I'll put a bit on the fifth harmonic here there we go and we'll make this um, nine six seven eight now I'll make it nine and I'll make the phase angle of this um, I'll put a 180 degrees out of phase And uh, I'll make this 9% here and uh, make this one 10% and uh, again 180 degrees out of phase. Oh sorry, that's the magnitude. <laughs> oh, that's a bit, bit silly, isn't it? Got the magnitudes right up here. So this is 180 degrees um, and I'll make this 10% and make this one 180 out 
and uh, so we've got 8, 9, 10, all at 180. Now if I click on this button here it's going to put these outputs with these um, distortions on them precisely out of those outputs. Okay so here's the resulting output with the distortions shown. It's quite a um, uh, so we can show the phase angles, etc. Um, it's uh, incredibly powerful that we can generate any of these signals. And if we want to have a look, I can bring up this menu here. So I've got to go back and stop the um, exit, discard and exit. Um, we can actually have a look at the harmonics. And um, here's the... Uh, there's that's it's the voltage there were none we didn't set any of the voltage but when we come across here here's our harmonics which are if you remember correctly we set these with zero uh, the same phase this one was set at six this one was set at seven this one was set at eight and we come across here and the fifth harmonic and this one here we set at uh, nine and I said second one nine I messed that up but you can see the fact that the it's 180 degrees out of phase from the main angle well it's approximately 180 anyway um, but it's it's provided these signals these sort of quite bizarre signals we're able to simulate them with this instrument CMC356, the Omicron CMC356 is a very powerful instrument it can provide amazing versatility in terms of its output capability, um, it has uh, input capability, it's designed to um, test relays, secondary relays, so we can provide all sorts of strange signals to secondary relays and cause them to trigger and uh, measure their trigger times etc. Very powerful system available from Tech Rentals.